like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. Sorry, I mean, I had nothing to do with this. The investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben, how's it going? It's that room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there, too. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole. Just what I needed. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Like wasting your time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Night, Lieutenant. of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. That didn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. We're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? Oh, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Hitting me. Again. 
And again. I think Are you alone was... in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted us to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? <sighs> so there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. If you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. It's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness. Somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? They come in, do their business, and go on their way. They ever had any trouble with androids before? No way! No. Once. We lost a model two, three months back. Uh, same model. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Expense account. Purchase confirmed. Even Club wishes you a pleasant experience. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Hey, what am I supposed to do with this one? Tell it you changed your mind! Uh, uh... Sorry, honey. Changed my mind. Nothing personal. You're a lovely girl. I just, uh... Not with him like that. I'm not that. That's not what I. You, uh. Um, Let's try this one. This better be worth it. Tracy, I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direction it took. I just need to find another android on its path.
lost its track again. track again. anything. I made a mistake.
They're getting away! Tracy. I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat, and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive. Get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. Probably better this way. <laughs> 